Hi everyone, I'm Lynn Scutches and I'm here in the Chem Street classroom that some of you might actually have taken chemistry in, whether it was with Mr. Lemon or Mr. Miller. Uh, this is my 16th year at Sonora High. I've been teaching for longer than that. <laughs> and some of you may know my husband's a teacher at Soulfieville School. Um, <clears throat> thank you, first of all, for sharing your wonderful children with me. I have been treated so kindly. I really, really appreciate your kids. They are so polite. They are so considerate. They are so patient with me as I try and figure out this technology stuff. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for doing a great job raising wonderful humans. <laughs> On the first day, I gave the kids a copy of my syllabus. It lists out the units I hope to cover in the course of a year. I don't expect that the students are going to be scientists, and I certainly don't expect that they're going to be chemists. I know that some of my students have chosen to do that, silly fools, but I do hope you understand that chemistry is a foundational science for so many other careers. So. I hope they enjoy the class. Normally we'd be doing lots of lab activities and <clears throat> that's a little bit hard to do from a distance, but this gives you an idea of the things we'll be talking about. Pretty standard stuff. Um, beginning chemistry hasn't changed that much since you were in school or I was in school, so it should be pretty straightforward. I do jump around the book a little bit and the textbook that they should have at home is this one. has a red back. It is a 2007 copyright book, so that's unfortunate. We don't have a digital copy um, of this book that we can uh, let you partake of. They didn't make one at the time. <clears throat> so um, I'm sorry if that's a problem. If you need an extra copy of the textbook, please contact the office and you can pick up another one at the library. Um, I also uh, had you sign <laughs> type in your names on uh, my golden rules, except for they weren't golden because they were on a screen. But um, this explains my grading policy, explains my absence and tardy policy, explains how your student can get extra credit. Some of those options aren't available because we're not on campus yet, but when we do get back to campus, there will be opportunities for extra credit. Up to this point, most of the work <clears throat> has been simply completion. Did they get it done? I haven't been super a super stickler about late work, but that um, is gonna happen. <laughs> Obviously, with the crazy hot weather, the power turn off, the smoke, everything else, it's just been crazy. So I'm being more flexible than I normally would, but that's because of the extenuating circumstances. So, um, I post videos. Um, I put assignments in our Google Classroom. Depending on what period your student is in, there's a different code for the classroom since it's all the same work. Um, I strongly encourage you to get into the Google Classroom and um, take a look around. I think uh, it's really important that parents have an idea of what their students are being asked to do. And I hope that, uh, I hope that you will do that. So uh, your student can share with you the code. They can find it for you if you can't read it on the video here tonight. Um, <clears throat> my email is the best way to reach me, L Scutches, L for Lynn, Scutches, S-K-U-T-C-H-E-S, at Sonora H-S dot k12 dot ca dot us um, your students already should have uh, <laughs> gotten a binder and a, uh, some sort of scientific calculator i don't let them use their phones um, it doesn't have to be a graphing calculator but if they need a graphing calculator for math and they already have one perfectly fine to use that for chemistry obviously <clears throat> I hope to cover um, 
a fair amount of what we normally cover um, and what we're going to do a lot of activities when we get to campus. Lord willing, that um, happens in the second quarter. You or your student have already picked up the little small bag of goodies. Um, not very exciting stuff, but I did um, put those together this summer for all 98 of my chemistry students. And I hope that um, they are enjoying the little activities that we're able to do from a distance. Again, it'll be more real chemistry when we get to campus. Please don't hesitate to call and reach out if you have questions, if I can help you or your student in any way, not just academics, um, do contact us. The school is working to get hot spots and all sorts of things. <clears throat> I know most of the students have already gotten their Chromebooks. Um, so if there's anything I can uh, answer for you, please feel free to email me. 